How we doing everybody? This is That Our Nerd coming at you with a quick video on how to plot multiple graphs on the, or multiple lines I guess, on the same ggplot uh, graph. Uh, so what we're going to need is of course uh, ggplot2. And we're also going to need the library of dplyr, dplyr. Um, just because we're going to do a little data manipulation and you can follow along. So, uh, we're just going to make a, a dummy data set here. So what we're going to do is we'll do x is a sequence from negative 5 to 5 and we want to go by 0.5. Alright, so negative 5, negative 4.5 all the way up. And then we're going to do y1 We'll say this is a p norm x and then y2 we'll say p norm x but we'll do it with a mean of one and a standard deviation of one and then we're going to throw all this into a data frame and so the reason we're, we did the uh, dplyr library is because we're going to put it into a tibble so if you don't want to, you can just leave it as a data frame. That's fine too. We're going to make it into a data frame. We're going to put x, y1, and y2 as our columns. So if we come down here and print df, see so it goes negative 5, blah, 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 blah. All right, so we have x and our y1 and our y2. All right, so now we want to plot our ggplot, right? So the way I prefer to do it is to take the data frame and then just pipe it in. You can obviously just do it all in ggplot, like just in this ggplot function, but I don't know. I'm weird, I guess. <laughs> I like to, uh, to pipe it in. So ggplot, we need our AES. Our x is going to be equal to x. And for this uh, first plot, we'll say our y is going to be equal to our y1. So our x is equal to our x, and our y is equal to our y1, and it should plot just like so. We'll do a geom line. And so if we do that, it plots our first our first line. Uh, but now we want to get our, our second line on there as well, right? And so ggplot, being amazing, is uh, we're just going to put an extra line on there. <laughs> Nothing too crazy. And for this, we're going to have to put that our y is equal to y2, All right? Specify our new y. It's a work of art. It's beautiful. <laughs> uh, let's add a little color just so the lines show up a little bit differently. We'll maybe make this one red, make this one blue. And there it is. Just so easy, so good looking. ggplot, it's amazing. If you like this video, make sure to press like so other people can find this very, mm, this very nice, helpful video. Uh, thank you for your time of watching, and subscribe if you want to see the best art content there is. Have a good day.